Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Summer Survival Adventure. <laughs> Today, we're actually going to find where we're going to live, and we're going to start a little bit of what we're going to do for a house. I don't necessarily have a specific plan that I want to do for a house, but this right here, this area, is actually where I want to build my house, kind of like off into the water, like right here. I don't really want to show you guys Chad's house right now or Audrey's because I don't know exactly if they've posted their episodes of when they did their houses. I think Chad is going to post his on Sunday. I'm not too sure, but I don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't seen his house yet, but it's a really, really good episode. So definitely go and check out his episode as soon as he uploads it. But if you guys missed last episode, what Chad and I did was we went into the mines and we tried to find diamond. Thankfully, it was a success. So what we have is we have eight diamonds, which is really good. 30 gold. I went ahead and smelted all this stuff off camera because I figured you guys didn't want to sit here and watch me wait for furnaces to cook stuff. I don't think I have anything left in these furnaces either. I think I cooked everything. So we have 64 iron, so we're finally gonna make a little bit more iron armor, because as you guys can see, we only have a chest plate right now. And I also off camera went and grabbed a bunch of wood. So we have 64 of the spruce wood, and we have 61 of the jungle wood. I'm kind of thinking for our house, we should do a little bit of like, a, kind of like an island style, if that makes any sense. Almost like if you guys have ever seen the movie Moana, kind of like that style. That's sort of what I wanna go for with this house design. First things first, let's go ahead and build up our armor right here though. Oh wait, we already built, we already have a chest plate. That would have been really bad if I accidentally did another chest plate. We got a helmet and we should be finally fully armored up. Now I finally feel a little bit safer as well. If we have time in this episode, something I might also do is I might try and go to find some sugar cane. Do I have any leather? I have two leather. So we might actually even be able to build an enchantment table today. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself though. So we'll see. Do I have any food either? I might need to go and eventually get some chickens. I might as well make some iron tools while I'm here and while I'm working on it. So let's go ahead and get these and let's go ahead and make some sticks and then we'll get an iron shovel. Oop, that's not iron. We got an iron shovel and an iron ax. Oh, I already have an iron ax. Something I need to remember with this new update is I always forget that the axes are also a weapon. So the sword is like a weapon that does an area of attack damage so you can hit more things at once. Oops, I honestly didn't mean to go kill that chicken. I'm really sorry. You were a sacrifice for a good cause because you will be in my belly soon. But then also the axe is a good weapon too. It just takes a lot longer to regenerate. But I think it goes through armor a little bit better than the sword does. I need to do a little bit of research, and if you guys know a lot about the new Minecraft versions and you can help me with it, that would be so helpful. Alrighty, let's go ahead and kind of get things started over here. So, I, like I said, I want to build it. Ooh, do we want this tree here? We should keep the tree here. I want it to be sort of like a tiki style house. I don't know if tiki is a style. I don't know if that's a, a good descripting word, description word to use for the style house I want. But let's at least go ahead and clear a little bit of the sand out right here so that we can sort of get the area that we want it to be. By the way, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support you guys have been showing everybody on this series. We are all so excited to be doing this series. It is something that we, of course, we've been waiting for the new update to come out before we really wanted to start it. But it seems just for right now, Minecraft isn't updating for PC. We know it's available on like the Pocket Edition and stuff like that, but we really need it to be available on the PC so that we can use Chad's Realm and stuff. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving everybody on the series. It has been so much fun so far, and it's honestly, this is the third episode. I also plan on doing some live streams with this as well. If I'm working on something that is gonna be really, really hard and take a really, really long time, I was thinking a good idea to do might be to live stream it. That way, I don't need to have an hour and a half or a two hour long episode doing something. That way I can just stream it. And if there's like highlights from the stream or something, I can show that off in a later episode. Or if I can just, uh, just show off whatever I built that day in a later episode. Okay, what am I doing? I need to get a little bit of an idea of what I want to do. I gotta decide first, do we want to build it in the water or do we want to build it on the land? If we build it on the land, we might want to remove this tree right here. This might totally be in our way, but I think in the water would be really cool too. Maybe we could do it half on land and half in the water and then we could just put little stilts and stuff. So let's kind of block this out. Do I want to clear? Mm, see, this tree is kind of just in my way. I feel like I might want to remove the tree. It's gonna take so long to remove this big tree though. Um, I had to remove one of these big jungle trees to get all the wood for the last time I did this. So it's not super duper hard, but sometimes it's just hard to get the little straggler pieces of log that are up at the top, but it shouldn't take too long. This is also gonna help a lot because we're gonna get a lot of extra wood from this. 
We gotta make sure we got all of these little side pieces too, because those are the ones that are gonna make the leaves fall. And we don't want any floating pieces of logs to be left because that just looks real ugly. Okay, I have removed everything but this little spiral right here from this tree. So once we go down here, if everything went well, we should be totally good and the tree will be removed. Hopefully everybody's okay with me deleting this tree. If I have to, I'll just replant the tree somewhere else so that we can make sure that we keep this sort of jungle wood in this area, but everybody should be okay. I think it'll be fine. Also, if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want me to do with this house and stuff, be sure to let me know. I don't know how crazy I want to go with this. I don't know if I want to go super duper fancy, but I might want to go a little bit fancy. So if you guys have any cool building ideas you want me to try, leave it in the comment section below and I'd love to give it a shot. All right, so let's put those there. Uh, it is turning dark time. I'm going to go sleep and I'm going to build this in the morning. Oh, good morning, creepers and zombies and endermans and everything else that's really scary and spooky. I actually don't see any of those things. Never mind. Good morning to the chickens and the cows. Okay, so now that we have have that big tree removed i want to remove all of this sand right here and then this is where we're going to build our house right here we're going to block it out a little bit and we're going to kind of give some ideas usually when i build a minecraft house what i like to do is just build the floor plan and then i'll build the walls up from there i'm certainly not the best builder in the world so you guys will kind of see what i mean when i start building if you guys watch my pixelmon series then i guess some of you will kind of understand my sort of style that i like to do with building but Usually I tend to build a lot more modern houses, but in this series, whoopsies, in this series, I think I'm gonna, like I said, try to go for that sort of like Kiki Islandy sort of feel. There's gonna be lots of torches, lots of fires everywhere. It's gonna be great. If everything works out, it's gonna look so good during the nighttime. I think this is probably a good width for the house. Like it'll probably start here, right here, and then it'll probably go to over like right here, maybe? How many blocks is that in between? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that gonna be too big? I think we wanna make it an even number. So let's move it to right there. And let's place a piece of wood down just so we know exactly sort of how we wanna block this out. And then I'll dig that way a little bit more. So we wanna go from here and here. So I'm gonna make sure this whole kind of mountain right here, as much as we can, gets sort of taken down. I don't have any iron, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make a wooden shovel. That's okay, we're almost done, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so the edge of the house, I think I want it to be sort of right close to the water, and we can add more beach later if we want to. So let's make it like this, and then we're gonna need to build some more beach in for sure right here, just so we can extend the end of the house to right there. Okay, so this will be one corner of the house. This will be another corner of the house. This right here will be another corner and that'll be the other corner. And if we wanna make it a little bit crazy shape too, we can work on that a little bit later. And we're also gonna change all of this up right here to make sure that this isn't like right on our front door. Hopefully this jungle wood looks really good with this too. It should. You would think that jungle and tiki would go pretty well together. I'm also gonna try and incorporate some like mossy stone. I think that would look really good in this too. I think this will be really cool as well because we're going to be able to have a porch that is literally right over the water, which is going to look really, really good. And it's even going to kind of look out at that island. We're going to have such a good view. I'm going to go back and make an iron shovel just so I can do this much faster. All right, cool. So we're getting somewhere. We have a little bit of a foundation-ish kind of down for our house. We know a little bit about what size we want it to be and then where we want it to be. But that's about as far as I've gotten. And like I said, guys, if you have any sort of suggestions for anything you want me to do on the house, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below. I really want this to be a really big team effort. I want all of us to have a say in this. You guys, me, every single person can give their suggestions for what they want. I'm also by no means gonna actually be able to finish this house today probably. So that way you guys are gonna have a lot of open room for suggestions because we're just gonna get sort of a layout of where we want to build our stuff. And then we're gonna move all of our stuff over from the main house over to this house. I think this will be really cool too because we can even have a staircase that leads down to our front door. So we're not gonna have much of a front yard, but most of the stuff is gonna happen like around and in the back of the house anyway. So it shouldn't be much of a problem, shouldn't be. Oh my goodness, a lot of this has been so much digging. Okay, one thing I wanna see now is let's go ahead and take this jungle and let's turn all of that jungle wood into planks. And I wanna see what this color plank, how does that connect? Ooh, this texture pack is so weird. That kind of looks good. So if we take this all the way across to here, and then we take this all the way across to over here, let's see what this looks like on all four sides. 
And we're not gonna have specifically a really just square house. We can make it shaped a little bit different later. But I just wanna see what this looks like for right now. One thing that I really like to do when I do Minecraft houses is I certainly like to make really high ceilings. I don't like to hit my head when I first walk inside of a door. So we're gonna make a little bit higher ceilings. This is going to look so good as soon as we're able to sort of have this be our view. We can even have big windows right here and then this be the door to go to the back porch. So it'll be a big window right here, big window right here. This probably will be different right here. And then we need to add, where are we gonna put the door? Is that where the door is gonna go? Is that the middle? <gasps> I think that's the middle right there. I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness, the sun is already going down. Let's put a crafting table in here and let's see what the jungle doors look like. Cause I don't know what the jungle doors look like. Those are pretty good. I should probably be really smart and go get my bed. If I put my bed outside, does that mean monsters are gonna come and get me in the night? Or as long as I go to sleep, will it be okay? We're gonna test this out. We're gonna go put this in our house that doesn't really have much protection. And we're gonna see if the monsters come and get us. We'll see right here. Can I sleep? Will I make it all the way through the night? Please, 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 please. Yay, we made it. Oh, actually, I probably shouldn't have broken that. That's okay. So an idea I had for the front door is what if we take some more jungle wood and we go up on both sides like that. Three, maybe. Let's do that. And then boom, boom. And then what if up there was a window? I've been in a lot of houses that have little windows above the front door. That's a total normal thing, right? Or is that gonna look too weird? Maybe we can have a painting up there too. Ooh, and we could even frame it with this stuff right here, and then that will be a window. Will that look weird too? I don't know if I like this right here. I maybe need to rethink the way I put that. What if, see this is a time when I really wish I was live streaming because you guys could give me your opinions right away. This is why I'm gonna live stream this, especially when it comes to building stuff. I really wanna live stream so that you guys can have an immediate input and in all this stuff. So I think I definitely want to have those be windows. I think that looks pretty good. What if instead of this jungle wood, what if we used the dark wood? Would that look good? Or the spruce wood right here? Does that look better or does that just stand out too much against that wood right there? I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below. Maybe that will look good and then we could just have the whole thing above. Or what if we now just cover this with just the wood right there? I don't know. Honestly, guys, let me know what you guys think I should do with this front right here and sort of how to frame it and how to design it. And maybe I can look up some pictures online after this as sort of just some inspiration. But one thing I definitely want to do before I end off today's video is I want to make sure that we can get uh, a couple of chests because I want to move everything that is over in the main house. I want to move it over to this house right here. Let's get a couple of chests placed down. And then for now, we'll just put all the stuff that's currently in my inventory and then I'll organize all of this off camera. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I kind of tried to organize the chest that was over at the house. I'm super duper picky when it comes to chest organization. That is something you guys are gonna learn. So one thing I'm definitely gonna have in my house is an entire room that is 100% dedicated to chest organization. All right, let's go ahead and get all this stuff. We gotta make sure we don't die because this has honestly all of our valuables. So we wanna make sure we don't die with all of this. And I'll just randomly again, put it in the chest and organize it all later. Guys, it's so sad. It's like I've officially moved out. I've moved out all my stuff. Look at the sign I made. It's like, this is my bed. Z, 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 Z. Like I was sleeping and now I'm leaving. It's like I'm moving off to college. Goodbye, my sweet home. I'm gonna leave the sign just because we don't need that later. We're still gonna come back. We're not leaving this for good. Welcome to the taco hut. We still have the taco. If you guys have any tacos, please bring the tacos to the taco hut. We need the tacos in the taco hut. And let's get some furnaces cooked up because we're gonna want some glass in here anyway. So let's get, oops. Let's get those placed right there. And then do we have any sand? Oh, he's got tons of sand. How many furnaces do we have? We have six. We have seven pieces of gold. So that means we should be able to kind of do this. We'll do boom. And then we'll do boom. And we'll put this in there. We need the coal back and we'll do this. And then we'll do up this. And oops. And then we'll do this right here. Perfect. Alrighty guys, well, well that stuff cooks up. I want to say thank you so, so much for watching today's episode of the Minecraft Survival Adventure. So we finally have, you guys can kind of see what I want to do with this house. You can sort of get my idea and you can see you can sort of build off of off of what I've presented you. So one thing is, don't feel like I can't change the shape of the house. Like if you guys don't want me to have like a straight up square house, we're probably gonna change this anyway. And also just keep in mind that I definitely want to have a porch that goes off into this little ocean right here. Cause I think that'll look really, really good. 
Next episode, we're probably going to try and go out and find a horse and tame a horse. Between episodes, I might do a live stream. That is something I definitely might do between episodes is a live stream. So that way we can maybe get the house finished. So I'm probably gonna live stream on YouTube, but there's a very, very, very small chance that I live stream on Twitch. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitch yet, make sure to go follow me at MicroGuardian. And that way you guys can go to the, the live stream if I do stream on Twitch. But like I said, for the first couple streams, I'm most likely gonna stream on YouTube. And then I might switch to Twitch later. It really just depends on, on my mood, I guess, that day and what I'm feeling. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Summer Survival Adventure. We are gonna do a lot of work off camera and I'm gonna get my chest all organized. And it's hopefully the house is gonna be looking really really good by the next time you guys see me and yeah like i said um be sure to leave any suggestions you guys have down below and again thank you guys so so much for all the support you guys have left on the series it's been so so awesome just reading through all your comments they've been so lovely and so amazing so thank you guys so much i'll see you guys next time for another episode of summer survival adventure bye guys